Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from Northern Maine. Welcome to my cabin this morning. I was sitting here today. I'm getting ready to uh, uh, deep fry some some fish later for, for fish nuggets for supper. And I, I've got a cookbook here. It's uh, I call it uh, Papa's Cookbook. Uh, that's what it says in the front. But East Grand Woodsman Cookbook, Papa's Cookbook. I've been putting this together for as many years as I've been hunting and fishing. If I come up with a recipe that I like, I add it to this book. And uh, it's all simple, simple recipes because everything here in the bush has to be simple. Uh, you've only got so many ingredients to deal with. I am fortunate here at the cabin that I do have a really good pantry as far as spices and all of that. Because that stuff doesn't, uh, doesn't go bad, it doesn't freeze, and I, it's very easy to keep it on hand. But I picked up some recipes over the years from people that have gone fishing with me or people that have gone hunting with me. Uh, they bring their own stuff to the table over the years. And some of their recipes have made it into this book. So I wanted to I wanted to do a little bit of a little bit of shout out to these guys and some of the recipes in this book have come from other YouTubers. Uh, one in particular is uh, uh, Plain Old Chuck. So Plain Old Chuck, he's got a recipe in my book, uh, and then another fella that I have fished with and hunted with for for many years. His name is Wayne. Uh, he's got a couple of recipes in the book here as well. But I, I, I wanted to go over a couple that are really simple and really easy because they really add a, 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 some good food to your diet while you're either on a canoe trip or you're here at camp or whatever. And a lot of times, in my world anyways, I had this stuff on hand. I was on a fishing trip probably 15 years ago on, uh, oh, what's the name of that lake? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's slipping my mind right now. But anyways, I was on a 10-day fishing trip, and we were sitting there you know, planning lunch and all of that, and, and had a cup of coffee and kind of sitting by the campfire. And Wayne was the, my buddy that trip. He was on the trip for 10 days with me. And he said, how would you like some coleslaw? And I, I love coleslaw. I love, I love coleslaw. And he said, I think we got all the ingredients. So he said, you, you brought a cabbage, right? And I always bring a cabbage on a on a fishing trip. Cabbage keeps good. Corn on a cob keeps good. And you can have these great, great meals with, with fresh ingredients. So I said, yeah. So, so anyways, I'm going to give you his recipe for homemade coleslaw while you're either at camp or you're at, or you're at uh, or you're at home or whatever, even on a canoe trip. Now, when you're at camp, and, and I've made this for several cookouts at home for the family, and I have to tell them, this is camp food. You know, usually camp food, you don't have a shredder. I do have a shredder here now. I've got a hand shredder now. So, so that, but when you go to chopping up a cabbage to make coleslaw, you're only going to get it so small with a hunting knife. <laughs> so we call it, uh, we call it, uh, you know, camp coleslaw. You, you know, you chop it up as fine as you can, but it's, it's just plain delicious. And the nice thing about it is a lot of the ingredients I believe that you would have uh, with you. So here we go. Wayne's coleslaw is a half a cabbage, three or four carrots, a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of relish. Now sweet relish makes a better one. But any relish will work. Two tablespoons of relish, two tablespoons of vinegar, and believe it or not, we had all this stuff on the fishing trip, and one small onion. Now, here's where me and him differ just a little bit. He's a mayonnaise guy, and I'm a Miracle Whip guy. And then you add Miracle Whip to this, this uh, all them ingredients, and stir it up. I add Miracle Whip. He does, he does uh, uh, mayonnaise. And you add enough to where you, you'll see the texture and the, all that. I don't really have a number. and I just keep putting it in and stirring it up until the coleslaw has a texture that I like. And the cabbage, you, you just chunk that up with a hunting knife 
as fine as you can. If you do have a shredder, then you can you can shred it definitely. And the same thing with the carrots. Then you stir all that together in a bowl, and you've got yourself some camp coleslaw. This recipe, as soon as I knew the day that he was doing it, that this recipe was going to be a big part of camp life for me, and it absolutely is, because it is delicious as a side course to absolutely any meal you've got going, whether it's fish or uh, fish or anything else. And the other thing that, that he brought up, now I don't have it right here in front of me, but the other thing that he brought up at the same time was, uh, oh, uh, tartar sauce for fish. You know, you buy tartar sauce in a small jug and all of that, and that's what we had been doing, but you usually run out of tartar sauce on the end of a fishing trip because you catch so many fish. <laughs> you know, if, if it's the kind of fish you want to dunk in tartar sauce and stuff, and I don't really want to dunk everything in ketchup when it comes to, when it comes to fish nuggets and all that. But he also, and I've done it ever since, making tartar sauce is very, very simple. You take uh, America Whip or mayonnaise and a couple tablespoons of, of relish, stir it together, and you've got yourself tartar sauce. Very tasty, very good, and it's ingredients that double. All the ingredients, even in the coleslaw and in this tartar sauce, all these ingredients double as part of your fishing and hunting trip. Nine times out of ten, if you're making sandwiches, you're going to have some Miracle Whip or you're going to have some mayonnaise kicking around. And if you're cooking hot dogs or hamburgers or anything like that, you're going to have some relish cooking around. So these things are the uh, same thing with that coleslaw. I don't know of a hunting trip that I've ever been on didn't have onions. And we've always got relish around. The cabbage is iffy, depends on the trip. But if it's there, most of the time, I always threw in a cabbage. I always, a lot of times I had this, what it was was a gym bag. And we would have, uh, I would have all my fresh vegetables in there. Everything from potatoes to corn on the cob, uh, heads of lettuce, squash. All that stuff keeps well. Yes, it's bulky. Yes, it's heavy, all of that. But on a 10-day on a trip on a lake like that, I don't really care about that. And same thing here at the cabin. We don't care about that bulk. I just want to have the fresh ingredients with me. So you have all that stuff with you and you eat like kings while you're out there. Uh, very rare do you see me eating out of a can. So that right there, that's the coleslaw. Oh yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find Chuck's recipe because I brought him up. Here's Chuck's recipe. Plain old Chuck. Look him up too if you get a chance. But he has a spam casserole for a cast iron cast iron oven. And I've I've done this recipe and that's why I wrote it down and put it in the book because I liked it so much. But what he does in his his cast iron Dutch oven is it's he calls it and we've had a little joke going, you know, spam and all that. But anyways, two cans of cream of mushroom soup. One can of Spam, bite size, three potatoes, bite size, one large onion, cut up, three carrots, sliced to a one-eighth inch, one can of water, one and a half cup shredded, sharp trees, and a ten-inch Dutch oven. No salt needed, half-inch teaspoon of pepper. The cook time is one hour to an hour and a half. Mix well in a Dutch oven. Uh, let's see. Then top it off with a half a cup of cheese on the very top. So if you want to try something out in a Dutch oven that's pretty darn good and pretty tasty, try out that one. That's, uh, and you can see he's right in there. He takes up a whole page. Plain old Chuck. Plain old Chuck is, and, and you know, you can swap out that, that I, I've done this recipe quite a few times. You can swap out that Spam for just about anything. Uh, corned beef. Uh, this time of year, I'll buy the corned beef right after, right after uh, St. Patrick's Day because the grocery stores will run a big sale on corned beef, and that's a good time of year to put your corned beef away. Uh, corned beef that spam can be changed out for. Uh, boy, a sausage, smoked sausage. I've done it with. Uh, you name it. Yeah, you name. You could change that out with just about anything and end up with an excellent, excellent casserole out of a. Uh, 10 inch Dutch oven so I hope you enjoyed this video I had this stuff for just plain making me hungry 
Uh, but that's the time of year it is here at the cabin. We're in between ice and now waiting on, waiting on, waiting on fresh water. So, have your coffee with me here at the cabin. And I will see you in the next one.